White mites are extremely small pests that usually live in bushes and shrubs, but rapid spikes in population can cause them to kill leaves on their host plant and even the entire plant in severe cases. These mites are harmless to humans, but they can invade indoor spaces and establish themselves among house plants if left alone. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of common white mites around your property so your home and ornamentals can stay free of mite activity year round. To shop for the products in this video and learn even more about white mite control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. White mites are small, but you're sure to notice multiple white specks move in numbers, indoors or outdoors. The most common white mite is the two-spotted spider mite, and it grows to be only a 50th of an inch in length. Like spiders, white mites are arachnids, so an adult white mite will have eight legs. The two-spotted spider mite has two large black dots covering the sides of its white or clear body. Mites that have molted recently may not have these spots. White mites will become active starting in spring and can become noticeable pests anytime until winter. Overwintering mites may usually be found in debris or underneath tree bark, but can take shelter in cracks and crevices of structures. While overwintering, they actually change color from white to dark orange or red, but they will retain their two spots. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hot spots of activity. Inspect your plants around your property for any signs of white mite damage. White mites will attack woody plants like bushes and shrubs. They're also known to attack some flowers and trees. Initial mite damage will form pale spots on leaves, which will later progress to yellow and then brown. Be sure to check on top and underneath leaves for signs of damage, cast skins, webbing, and the mites themselves. If you're experiencing mites indoors, inspect the inner perimeter for any tight cracks and crevices the mites can use to enter the structure and hide in. This includes door and window seals, behind electrical plating, where plumbing penetrates the wall, and along baseboards. Also take note of any house plants that are infested as well. After inspecting your indoor perimeter, check your structure's outer perimeter and note potentially infected plants close to any entry points. You'll use this information to direct your treatment. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep all pets and people off the treated areas until dry. To get rid of white mites, you'll need to use an insecticide labeled for mite control, like Reclaim IT. Reclaim IT is a liquid insecticide concentrate that will provide your property with strong residual protection against mites and other pests as well, and it can be used for outdoor and indoor treatments. But note that indoor applications of Reclaim IT are limited to spot, crack, and crevice treatments only. To treat for white mites on your property, we recommend using a hand pump sprayer since you'll be making localized ornamental applications, barrier treatments, and crack and crevice treatments. For most infestations, you can use a labeled rate of 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces of Reclaim IT per 1,000 square feet of treatment area, but we recommend using 0.5 fluid ounces for effective control of white mites and many other pests. For severe infestations, you may use up to one fluid ounce. Mix your measured amount of Reclaim IT with one gallon of water to treat 1,000 square feet. To enhance control of white mites, you may add a surfactant to the solution, which will allow the product to fully adhere to the surface. To use a pump sprayer, open the sprayer, add half a gallon of water, and add your measured amount of Reclaim IT. Then add the remaining half gallon of water, close the sprayer, and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump your sprayer a couple times to produce a low pressure spray. First, spray the entry points you've noted around the outside of your home, like around doors, windows, vent openings, and other voids in the wall. Once you've treated entry points, conduct a perimeter treatment around your structure. Start at one point and continue to treat along the outside by going three feet up the structure and three feet out. Avoid overlapping this application with your prior treatments. You may also want to treat around tree trunks in your yard. After you treat your structure, proceed to treat ornamental plants. Use a low to medium pressure mist setting to thoroughly coat the leaves in your solution. Spray to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to treat the undersides of leaves as well. When spraying liquid products outdoors, be sure to apply on calm days when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. To treat white mites indoors, you'll treat any infested house plant and crack and crevice where mites could be hiding. First, clean infested plants. Rinse the leaves either outside or over the sink with dish soap or an insecticidal soap and remove all traces of white mite activity. Once your plant has been cleaned, you can treat it with Reclaim using the prior labeled rate. Next, conduct a spot treatment and treat the cracks and crevices you noted earlier. Be sure to treat spots where you've seen mites hiding and along baseboards. 
Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen again. White mites thrive during hot and dry periods, so you'll take measures to control the population and keep them away from your home. To stop white mites from invading indoors, clear excess foliage two feet away from your structure. By keeping host plants away, white mites will have less reason to travel to your home to find a new plant or overwinter. You'll need to close up any openings you found on your structure, repair door seals and window screens, and seal small cracks and crevices with caulk. Outdoors, watering of ornamental plants has been shown to disrupt mite populations. You can also increase irrigation of your lawn for wider control. Be sure not to overwater, as this will invite more pest activity and disease. It's best to water your lawn and ornamental plants deeply in the morning by giving it about one to one and a half inches of water once every week. Finally, be sure to conduct follow-up treatments of Reclaim IT every three months to ensure total control year-round. White mites are small pests that cause large amounts of damage and can infest indoor locations when given the chance, but there are ways to manage and control a population that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop white mites from destroying your lawn, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.